Hi, this is Alex with the GNFAC with a weekly snowpack and avalanche update for the mountains near Cook City on the weekend of March 1st. Last Friday, a snowmobiler triggered this very large avalanche on Fisher Mountain. They were very lucky to not be buried, but they did take a little ride. And that avalanche probably sympathetically triggered this other avalanche around the corner on the same mountain. This is another avalanche that happened around that same time on a wind-loaded slope, broke on weak snow below a hard slab. And we've seen natural avalanche activity as well over the last week, including this one that was reported yesterday and these couple on the north side of Miller Mountain last weekend. And prior to that, we saw steady avalanche activity over the last month and a half or two months almost now, which you could check out all of on our website at mtavalanche.com. So over the last month since February 3rd, we've had five feet of snow in the Cook City area. And it's currently snowing today and expected to snow this weekend. Last week, there were some really strong gusty winds out of the southwest. And this snow has fallen onto a weak snowpack. This shows a snow pit from February 5th prior to most of this snowfall. And you can see that weak sugary snow supporting a slab of snow. And that slab is now many feet thicker. So it's snowing today and we're expecting at least another foot, if not possibly two feet through tomorrow. Winds are going to be moderate and steady for the next during the snowfall out of the west to southwest with gusts of 35 miles per hour. So wind loaded slopes will have thicker slabs and avalanches will be more likely on wind loaded slopes. Today the avalanche danger is considerable. <clears throat> Large human triggered avalanches are likely. Big natural avalanches are also possible. So you should avoid travel on and underneath slopes steeper than 30 degrees. Because of the weak snowpack, avalanches can be triggered from flatter terrain below steep slopes. So be cautious of what is overhead. For the weekend, stay tuned to mtavalanche.com for the most up-to-date conditions. Danger will stay considerable and possibly rise to high. So choose your routes carefully, plan to avoid avalanche terrain, make sure everyone in your gear in your group carries rescue gear, which includes a beacon shovel and probe. If you're in the Cook City area this weekend or next, stop by the Antlers Lodge at 7 p.m. on Fridays for a conditions talk and basic avalanche awareness discussion. Or on Saturdays, swing by the Round Lake Safety Shelter. We have an instructor there between 10 and 2 p.m. to practice a beacon search or answer any questions about current conditions or avalanche awareness. Thanks for checking in this week. Have fun and stay safe out there. Check back next Friday for another update.